Hi guys, today's video is about HR based training, means heart rate based training. A lot of people believe that uh, heart rate based training uh, eventually helps you to become a faster runner and a more efficient runner. These days, even I'm following a training program which is heart rate based. Currently, I'm using my chorus space to watch to monitor my heart rate uh, while doing workouts. I have placed an order for Garmin's uh, heart rate monitor belt and soon I would be using that to monitor my heart rate during my runs. When you use a watch, a wristband or a watch to monitor your heart rate, then you don't get an accurate reading and it also gives a delayed reading. However, the belt, the heart rate monitor belt gives you more accurate reading and it also gives you the immediate reading of your heart rate. Now the question is what is basically a heart rate based training and what are the benefits of doing it? The watches that we wear, it shows the pace. So usually most runners, they uh, keep a track of their pace and they don't care about the heart rate. But when you are doing a heart rate based training, you do not care about your pace. All you are concerned about is what is your heart rate at a given moment. There are different zones of heart rates, zone 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. If you want to follow a heart rate based training, then you should do nearly 80% of your runs in zone 2. Now how are you going to calculate what is zone 2 for you? Formula is simple, 180 minus your age. For example, my age is 40, so 180 minus 40 is equal to 140. So the ceiling limit of my zone 2 heart rate is 140. So if I want to run in zone 2, I should keep my heart rate below 140. I should not try to make it much lower than 140 because I would like to, you know, run as hard as possible without allowing my heart rate to overshoot 140. This is what I follow for nearly 80% of my runs. When you do a heart rate based training, your focus is to stay in your zone, which is mostly the zone 2. And now you know what happens when you speed up, your heart rate increases. So you have to control your speed. Sometimes you have to run really, really slowly to stay in zone 2. So when you are beginning the heart rate based training, initially you would be very, very slow. But if you stick to your plan and if you keep practicing within your zone, then in a matter of time, you would be able to run faster at a low heart rate. It may take any time between three to four months, but you have to consistently try and be patient and stay in zone 2 for most of your runs. So the heart rate based training teaches you to run faster at a low heart rate. It ensures that you are not overtraining, you are not putting too much strain on your heart, on your muscular and skeletal system. If you are not an experienced or seasoned runner and you want to start heart rate based training now, then I would advise you to run in zone 2 for nearly 3 to 4 months. After running consistently in zone 2 for 4 months, your pace will eventually increase for the same zone. Suppose if in the beginning, your average pace for zone 2 was 7 minutes 30 seconds per kilometer. Then by the time you complete 4 months of training in zone 2, your pace will increase up to 5 minutes 30 seconds per kilometer. It may vary slightly from person to person. But if you are consistent, you will reap the benefits of heart rate based training and your pace is going to increase. But if you are an experienced or a seasoned runner, 
then you should do 80% of your runs in zone 2 and remaining 20% of runs you can do in zone 3, 4 or 5. I would advise you to skip zone 3 altogether. Try to stick to zone 4 and 5 for your vigorous workouts, for your high intensity workouts. In those zones, you are running very close to your maximum heart rate, which if you are 40 years old would be anywhere between 160 to 175 beats per minute. Now I will share with you the plan which I am following these days. My runs are either short or long or super long. The short runs are of 10 kilometers. When I go for a 10 kilometer run, I do it in zone 2. And at the end of that run, I do a few sprints of 200 meters. I try to run as fast as possible for 200 meters. Then I take some rest and recover my breath. Then I repeat the sprints. So I do anywhere between 8 to 12 sprints. When I go for longer runs, I usually do 2 hour long run. In that, I try to run in zone 2 for 1 hour 45 minutes. In the last 15 minutes, I run in zone 4, where I try to run you know, as fast as possible. On Sundays, I go for a really long run, 3 hour long run or more than that. And in that also, I run in zone 2 in the beginning and in the last 20 minutes, I run in zone 4 or 5. Means I try to run as fast as possible. In this manner, I ensure that 20% of my runs are in zone 4 or 5 and rest of them are in zone 2. The heart rate based training teaches your body to burn your body fat to fuel your runs. If you are an ultra runner, then you like to run, you know, for longer time at a consistent pace. That is your focus. That is possible only when you do HR based training. Because by doing HR based training, number one, you are training your body to burn uh, body fat to fuel your runs. Number two, you are training your body to run for a longer time at a consistent pace without overstraining your body. I have been running for last three years, but it is now that I have realized the importance of HR based training. I started ultra running only a year back. And uh, you know, I have done a 24 hour run also. And um, I realized when I did that 24 hour run that uh, something was lacking in my training. And what was lacking is I never trained according to heart rate. Your heart needs to be really, really strong. And the only way to train your heart to be strong is to do 80% of your runs in zone two. Heart rate less than 140 beats per minute. And remaining 20% runs, you should do in zone 4 or 5. You know what mistake most runners make? During their training, they mostly uh, run in zone 3, which is a big mistake. One should run in zone 3 only during events. You know, when you're running a marathon, taking part in an ultra race. That is when you should run in zone 3. While you're training, run in zone 2 most of the time to train your body to run for long at a consistent pace. 20% of your run should be in zone 4 or 5 where you are, you know, using your full potential so that your body remembers how it is to run fast. So this is all about HR based training. Currently, I'm following it and I'm going to follow it for next four months. I believe it is going to work for me. And if you are really interested, you can follow me in Strava and you can have a look at analysis of my various runs and you can follow the plan I'm following. In December, I'm going to run a 24 hour run in New Delhi. It is called India Open. All my training for that event is going to be HR based. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. We'll meet again in my next video. Till then, bye bye.